Um, pr uh, the projects that we're doing this year are, are project-based learning projects, which is more, it's more fun in a way because we don't just have to, if like in previous years we were just given questions and we had to answer them, which was basically, it wasn't really teaching us anything because all we had to do was find the answers and just write them down and put them into a project and we had our project, whereas now we have to find our own answers and really understand the topic deeply so we can answer the driving question. So, the project that we were working on um, came about because we were looking at La Grande Pay uh, de Montreal. So it has to do with Aboriginal collective rights. And I wanted to make it something bigger because Aboriginal rights are, is very relevant in terms of what we're seeing now. We've seen the Idle No More movement and the kids have, have we've talked about that throughout our unit in grade six. So we were looking at um, why we have, why historically we have had Aboriginal rights in Canada. So the, pro the project that we're doing right now is about La Grande Paix de, du Montréal. Um, it's, uh, it's mainly focusing on Aboriginal collective rights. And um, what's, so what we did is we got into groups and today we had 40 minutes in class to sort of get together in our groups and decide tasks like who is going to do what and divide the work. And we also, um, oh, some of us already? even just came up with other questions that we need to know in order to answer the driving question. The driving question for um, this project that we're doing right now is how did La Grande Pay de Montreal affect Aboriginal collective rights? So we all have our need to knows. I guess a driving question is the main question that you need to, the main question of the project and you need to get you need to come up with other smaller questions to answer the big question. Nico. Can we use prompts? Props? Yeah, props. Yes, you are allowed to use props. The, every, in terms of your iMovie itself, that, the only restriction I've given you is that the project I want it to be done in an iMovie format. In terms of how you do the, your iMovie, there is no restriction. Working with others, like collaboration, it's really important. It's a good skill to learn for when you're older because um, when you have jobs, some jobs, like most kids, they want to be, some kids want to be professional sports players. Be on a team, you have to know collaboration. Otherwise, your team's not going to win any games. And like school is more kind of exciting because when I, like, I always used to, for projects, I would be all worried because, or I, sorry, I wouldn't be that, like, it would just not really matter because all I would have to do is I would think I would do it last minute, just go home, find the answers, throw them together in a PowerPoint or whatever. And now it's more, like, I have, to, like, it helps me be more responsible because I know I have to do my work, like, I have to do my work further ahead of the deadline so I can actually make the, pro I guess, the finishing product, you could call it, better. Thank you, my representative, for coming along with me. No problem. I am happy to assist you. In a couple of days, we will arrive in Montreal. There we will begin the treaty negotiations. Let's go make our nation proud. I think I had always probably looked at a project in terms of an end fun type of deal rather than using it to as the main part of my lesson so that the project would actually be what was educating the kids and how they were learning through it. So mine was more I would teach the kids everything they needed to know and then they would do a project incorporating everything they learned rather than what, I, what it is. What it actually is is the kids are learning what you want them to learn throughout the project. Um, I selected uh, Gloria and Jessica uh, to be the leaders in project-based learning because they really demonstrated an interest in it. Um, they really are teacher leaders, they're well respected by their colleagues. Um, they have quite a, a bit of experience in language programs and so they were, I thought, a good choice to begin the project-based learning. A journey for the school. I think I have a really, you know, such a great staff here that they do want to collaborate and they do want to learn. I think the teachers have really recognized that project-based learning is not something that you do by yourself. It's not like going home and planning your lesson, 
and coming the next day and teaching that lesson and then taking your projects or exams or whatever home and marking them that it's it's really done with your colleagues and I think that's probably one of the most important learnings that my staff is getting from this already.